America was never great, so reads the hat worn by a Home Depot employee by the name of Crystal Lake. Take a look. Obviously playing off Donald Trump's campaign slogan. The point of the hat, Ms. Lake says, was to say America needs changing and improvement. Well, be that as it may, Crystal, do you really think America was never great? The country who liberated the Western world, freed from communism those oppressed? America was never great, Crystal? The nation that set free the slaves, vaulted a man to the moon, erected the tallest building, dug the Panama Canal? The country that was the first in flight, harnessed electricity in the sky with a key and a kite, brought us the transistor, the cell phone, bifocals, internet, and the swivel chair, defeated Soviet socialism in the face of a nuclear scare, the country that declared all men are created equal, endowed by their creator with rights inalienable by the government to life, liberty, and opportunity, who welcomes the oppressed, feeds the hungry, hugs the hurting, clothes the needy? No, we're not perfect, Crystal, but in no other nation in the world could these stories take place from a sweat-drenched, fly-ridden Congress in Philadelphia over 200 years ago, from those men who pledged their lives, endangered their families, ruined their futures, to those now who willingly give their last full measure of devotion, lay down their lives for the red, white, and blue. Also, you and I, Crystal, can live the way we choose, to say what we want, achieve what we want, read what we want, speak what we want, worship where we want, assemble when we want, vote for whom we want. In this nation only, the land of the free, is America not great, Crystal? You tell me. That's my final point. Reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. And if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. Be sure to catch Tipping Point again tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern, and have a good night.